In this guide, I will cover how to use our relay solution for pushing data from a device behind a site manager to a server in the same network as the gate manager server. In this setup, I have an FTP server running in the same network as the gate manager, and I have a PC running an FTP client behind a site manager. I will create a server relay on the site manager in order to be able to reach the FTP server. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a relay on the gate manager uh, server. Um, in order to do this, I'm logged in as the server administrator and uh, I will select my domain, which I will create the relays on. In this example, I'm just using the root domain, but it could be a specific customer domain. I go ahead and click the relays tab and I will go to server relay target subnets I'll click the plus sign and I will add the local subnet of the van interface with this I will be able to create server relays for each device uh, connected in this network I can limit the access uh, by uh, just narrow the subnet down or use one specific uh, IP address. Uh, in this uh, demonstration I will just use this for my convenience. Next we need to create the server relay on the site manager. So I will go to the web interface. I'll go ahead and select gate manager, server relays, new. I'll give the relay a name. I'll give it a server address and the server address is the true address of the FTP server. In my case it's 172.16.17.169 and I will assign a port for it. Uh, since I'm using FTP I'm using port 21. My virtual address uh, is the address I will tell my device to connect to. Um, I can either uh, choose to write the IP address of my device one port, I can use an IP alias um, if I want to do that, or I can use an alias, I can just use dev1. With this I can change my device IP address in the gate manager and the relay will still be uh, functional. And I'll click save, and if I just click so really to refresh the page, I'll see that the status has saying attach. So I go back to my gate manager, I refresh, and I can see the relay connection here. It needs to be attached to the gate manager server in order to function. Just click attach here. If you want to do this autom automatically, you can go ahead and click on root, okay, click on domain settings, and you can just flag this out to attach relays and click save and each relay will be automatically attached and you won't have to log in as a server administrator and attach the domain. Sorry, attach the, uh, the relay. If I click server relay again, I can see the status is idle. So now I'll just start up my FTP client and I'm ready to connect. Just to verify the device address, I can go into system click on device 1 and I can see that this is my IP address which I've assigned for uh, the device 1 interface. I'll copy this and I will paste it in here and I will go ahead and log in with the credentials I've provided in the FTP server. And I'll click quick connect and now I'm actually connected with the FTP server which is on the same network as my gate manager server.